Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Web Dev. So in this video, we will learn about the ng after content check life cycle. So now we have learned in our previous video also about this ng after view check. Now we are learning about this ng after content check. What is the difference between these two? What I can say is the ng after view check and also the ng after content check life cycle hooks are a part of angular component life cycle only. So which allows you to hook into different parts of a component life cycle to perform certain actions. These hooks are specifically useful for handling tasks after angular checks the content or views of the component. Now first let's try to see about this ng after view check. So the timing, so the hook is called after Angular has performed change direction on a component view and chain view. So this one will be executed always whenever a change detection occurs in the component view or the child view. So that means the view that the component itself renders along with any child component views. This is executed after the ng after view unit. So after the ng after view unit, then ng after content uh, after view check will be executed. So that is one thing. Now, ng after content check. So, this one is the main thing. The lifecycle hook is called so ng after content check. So, here this one ng after content check. Right? So, this one is the thing. And console.log after content check. So ng after content check what it will try to do this lifecycle hook is called after angle has performed change direction on the components content which includes the content projected into the component via ng content. So now this one will be executed when this one will be executed when the component content and also the ng component content content is automatically projected then only this one will be executed. So this is one thing so then, then this one will be executed. So now what I want to tell you is. So this ng after content check, ng after view check, and also we have this ng do check, right? So these two, or these three are the lifecycle hooks which executes it frequently whenever the state changes or the change detection occurs. So do check file. But each one has its own thing. That is one thing. So whenever the variable changes or state change direction immediately occurs, so this ng do check will be fired, followed by the subsequent ng after content check when its own component content has been projected, including the ng content. So then this ng after content check will be fired. Then afterwards, ng after view check will be fired. So this one will be followed by ng after content in it, ng after content check, and this one will be followed by ng after view in it. So now if you try to see here, so here also I will write console.log ng after view checked okay so, so now if you try to see here in our console.log now here if you go to the console so we are having so many things right let's go to the app component.html and i will try to comment out i have commented out these all the things and here also this one also i will comment out okay so that we can have a clear picture now if you try to see here the first one ng do check has been fired so right now we don't have any after content ng after content in it in this one so that is the reason content in it has not been fired if you want i will try to show you ng after content in it console.log after content in it okay so now if you try to see here first do check has been fired okay and after content in it and after content check it has been fired followed by the after view in it and after view check it will be fired and now the do check and content file will be always be fired whenever a change detection occurred so this is one thing now when i try to click on this one add item see immediately do check after content check and after view check immediately has been fired so this is how we will be having now now you may be i uh, may be getting confused that after content check is firing why because we don't have an ng content in this one the still it is firing means if ng content is there it will fire or otherwise also normally it will fire so this is the main thing which you need to understand about this ng after content check so ng after content check when own its content when the own the property uh, when the own the component content has been projected into this then it will be fired so whereas ng after view check it will be fired when its own component view and also its child views everything has been fired 
then only it will be fine so this is the main difference between this ng after content check and ng after view check so now we have learned all the differences between ng on it ng to check ng after content these all things we have learned so these are the main things and we have one last one which we need to discuss that is after render and after next render which has been introduced that one is in the ssr i will try to tell you about this one in the next video hope you understood about this life cycle so what i will do is i will commit this code in our new branch that is uh, video iphone 18 video iphone 18 so you can if you have any if you want any reference of this code or anything is the github repository url is provided in the description below so you can take a look at that so, it's, uh, so that i will be providing the link below to this description so that's it guys about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you